Good morning, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And a couple of shows ago, I talked about listening to amateur radio satellites. Um, since shortwave conditions are not that good right now, they're kind of come and go, but they're, in general, for me, they've been pretty bad. So I quickly, this morning, set up my old, and I'll do a little zooming around here, my old laptop. Let me zoom in on it. Oops, kind of missed it there. Okay, there's my old laptop. I mean, this thing's ancient. It's running Windows XP, but it's running a software package for controlling my scanner, my scanner radio. And one of the things it can do, you can select a band of frequencies that you want it to scan, and it will control the radio and have it scan through those frequencies. I'm scanning right now about 145.5 to 145.99, which happens to be where a satellite that is passing overhead right now, it's going to go directly over my house in a few minutes, um, is at. It's actually should be around 145.728 right this moment is where the beacon is. Now, I don't know since this receiver of mine, let me zoom over to it, it's a little Bearcat receiver, or Uteden receiver, um, only has AM and FM modes, so it can't, um, can't decode, or listen to single sideband, which typically this particular satellite, which is XW-2B, you talk to it, or listen to it on single sideband. So I don't know, and there's a beacon that, that's continually sending out a tone or maybe a code, CW code. I'm hoping that I can catch. Now, it is raining right now, so I don't know how effective my antenna is. Plus, I don't really, right this moment, have a good analog, I mean, excuse me, a good antenna for VHF and UHF available down here in my shack. So I'm using, would you believe, a TV antenna. And unfortunately it's directional, so I don't know if I'll get any signal at all. But right now I'm looking at my other computer and this particular satellite should be at 26 degrees elevation from my location. And hopefully Hopefully, and it's very iffy, I'll get something on my receiver there in the next few minutes um, as it passes overhead. Again, I just, this is the satellite that happens to be going over my house with a good elevation of maximum of 81 degrees. So I just picked that one, quickly set this up. I don't know if it's going to work, but that's the beauty of uh, playing around with these radios. It's just, you know, you just try things, you know. Maybe it won't work, maybe it will, you don't know. So <laughs> I've got the website I talked about, was which is the amsat.org um, page that I showed you a couple of shows ago where it tracks amateur radio satellites on a map and everything. Pretty cool website. I got that running on my main computer down here in the garage and then I've got that old Dell laptop running the control software for the Uteden radio. The that particular model which is the BC seven eighty can be controlled by a computer. So that's what's happening right now. Ideally if I wanted to set this up for best conditions, I would probably use a TV dongle and I would use some the, one of the programs that I had set up up in my office for controlling an SDS controlling a TV dongle also would interface with a satellite tracking program called I think it's called orbit something don't remember exactly the name of it 
and it would track the satellite as it went overhead and it would control the frequency of the SDR. So that would be kind of an ideal setup. Plus, I would probably use a, say a disc cone antenna built for a VHF, UHF um, to, to receive those, uh oh, you don't know what that is, hold on. That's kind of in the range of what where this thing is transmitting. Now, the other thing is, like I said, like I said, they're also the upload and download frequencies um, are in single sideband mode. The download is in upper sideband mode. Like I say, unfortunately, this scanner won't do that. That would be the advantage of using an SDR because they can do AM, FM, single sideband, a whole bunch of other modes. So that would be the ideal situation. I just, I just kind of threw this together this morning to see what happens. I think I was hearing on that scanner, I think I was hearing transmissions from the satellite, but of course it was in single sideband mode, so it, it was just kind of, it sounded like a garbled voice, which it would be since I'm running the scanner right now in FM mode. Maybe, maybe not. And it was, well, let's see, the elevation it says right now is going down. So it's past my house and probably the elevation was near the peak when I was getting that noise. Possibly a transmission of some kind from that satellite. Probably, and, and what, you, what this is all about, these are amateur radio satellites, which if you have a technician's license, you can use these satellites. And what you do is you transmit up to the satellite as it's passing overhead, and then it, the transmitter on the satellite will send your signal back down so you can talk long distance, only for a short period of time, but you can talk long distance. It seems like my setup is working, and what I'll do is I'll look through the listing of satellites that's passing um, overhead, and I'm looking right now, and there's a... CHUB3 that will be passing over at 8 o'clock. It's right now 748. So I'm going to stop this video, set up for that one, and see if I can capture that one. I think that one is, let me just scoot down here and see what mode that one operates on. That one operates on, oh, it's a it's a digital satellite and it has BBS capability, which means you can send stuff up. And I think, I'm not positive, I'm, I'm so old when it comes to my information about these satellite radios that I got to do a lot of research. But that one comes over in about 13 minutes and it will have a maximum elevation of 88 degrees. Now, let's see. It doesn't say that it's in single sideband, but I'm thinking it is. Like I said before, though, these also have, these satellites have a beacon, which you should be able to at least receive the beacon. Now, that particular one that's coming up in, like I said, about 13 minutes, um, that one Download and beacon frequency is in the 70 centimeter band, 437 megahertz. So I'll need to change the setup on the laptop here to scan those frequencies. Right now it's scanning the 2 meter band frequencies. So anyway, uh, it's just another experiment that you can do if you have, you know, some stuff laying around. Like again, I right now I don't have a good antenna down that comes in down in my workshop for VHF and UHF.
So that's the show. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.